up, modern status. You know what day today is? Today's Friday. You know what Friday means? Modern stutter update. What are you looking at? It's my egg print. You wanna go out? Let's go. You ready? We go to the modern stutter update. We just hit 10,000 subscribers this morning. I wanted to thank you, the modern stutters, for that. You are the best. It's a huge milestone for us here at Lumna Acres. We're going to be doing a live bonus video tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss that. We're going to be announcing how you can enter in to win the three giveaways we're doing as a thank you to all the modern stutters. And we'll be doing a family question and answer session also. So come on over, meet us there, be ready with your questions, and we'll be ready with some answers. Good afternoon, girls. Let's give them a few apples. The pigs are looking nice, they're getting pretty big. In October, at the end of October, we're gonna be doing our hand-hewn farm three-day hog harvesting class here at Lumna Acres, and we'll be harvesting these two ladies. It's gonna be bittersweet, but that's what we've raised them for. been getting a lot of comments about the apples lately the apples aren't ripe yet when they do ripen let me show you our plans for them here's the outdoor kitchen the outsides all sided and we got all the trim work up That's our plans for all the abundance of apples we have here. We're gonna be making some apple cider. I can't wait till we get that press up and running and we start pressing some apples. I love apple cider. I got some good childhood memories that go back to apple orchards and trips to the apple orchards in the fall, going to drink some warm apple cider and having some apple cider donuts. Oh, it's just delicious. I don't know if that's a New England thing or not, but I'd love to know it. Apple cider donuts, is that something that's around the whole US or is that just here in New England? Leave it in the comments down below. This is on loan for us. This is a piece of American history right here. We got the hopper with the grinder. We got two buckets. We got our press. We'll be doing more videos on that. I just wanted to show it to you. It's the inside of the off-grid outdoor kitchen. We're gonna be putting a wood cook stove over here in this corner. We have a stainless steel mop sink that we've been collecting for years, and we're gonna have to get some stainless steel countertops. Now we got a nice place to park the tractor. While we're right here, let's go check on the potato tower and the hay bale gardens we have. We've been fortunate. We haven't gotten a frost yet. The coldest we've gotten so far is 39 degrees. There's a couple of towns in the area that got a frost. Keeping our fingers crossed, we don't see that for a while. The squash plants are just doing amazing. We got some spaghetti squash going on here. We got some white pumpkins. Buttercup squash, but I'm assuming we might be too late in the season for that to finish growing. The potatoes are doing good. They're starting to fall over. Keep our fingers crossed. We get a good harvest from that potato tower. We got a few more zucchinis in here. Some summer squash. The gardens are still jamming. I just hope we don't get any frost. Another zucchini right there. A 
And another one right here. Nice. Another one over here. Oh yeah. More summer squash. Look at that pumpkin. These hay bales are spent hay bales from our winter chicken coop. And this is a potato tower that we use spent hay from our winter chicken coop in to grow also. I'll leave a link to the videos when we started these right here. Let's go check on the kitchen garden. The tomatoes are doing great. We got so many green heirloom tomatoes still. I hope we don't get a frost anytime soon. I want all these tomatoes to ripen up for us. We've made some awesome pasture raised BLTs out of these. We had blossom end rot and we tried two different methods to reverse it and they both worked. We did a video on that the other day. I'll link that right here showing what worked for us and what we did. Here are our pepper plants. We have a lot of peppers. And as long as it stays warm out a little bit longer, hopefully they can get to full maturity because they're so small right now. We've had such a cold, wet summer. Fingers crossed. Our broccoli is bolting. But the cabbage is looking good. Our carrots are still doing good. Be nice to see how they look once we get to pull them. We'll leave them in here as long as we can. The green beans are going by. We got a little bit of corn we gotta pick. The onions are doing amazing. And our strawberry plants are just taking off. We're gonna have so many new strawberry plants in here come springtime. We started with four original ones that we planted this spring, and now we just got new ones all over the place. We've had a lot going on here at Lumna Acres this year, and the biggest thing we neglected was our garden. But this was actually the year to neglect your garden because we've had a very cold and wet growing season here in New England. Most people that I've talked to in New England, they're having the same issues that we are. So whether if you spent a lot of time in your garden or not, you didn't get a lot of abundance. So it was a perfect year for us to build the off-grid outdoor kitchen because that took a lot of our time this summer. But it's going to be worth it. It's going to make us so much more productive next year and this winter. We have a lot of apples to pick up. That's for sure. And that's just from one, two, three, four trees. We have a lot more than that on the whole property. We're gonna be busy. Let's go inside and get the grain to give to the chickens. While we're in here, let me show you what happened the other day here at Lumna Acres. We have five Icelandic chicks that hatched out. He grabbed one for you. They're little tiny puff balls. We're gonna be keeping these guys. One of them, this little dude right here, I'm not sure yet, but I think he's blind. Time will tell. But if I go close to his face, he doesn't move. He's doing a lot better than he was, but I just think he's blind. I can go right up to his eyes and he doesn't flinch and he doesn't move his head. What do you do with a blind chicken? I have no idea. If he is blind, I guess we're gonna find out. Here's Rufus and his girls. These are who the Icelandic chicks are from. They're their offspring.
Don't eat my finger. I'm scared. Ouch! That didn't hurt. Just surprises you. You're supposed to go for the grain, Rufus, not the finger. Wait a minute, what was I thinking? I got my egg print on today. Whew, much better. We've been getting a lot of questions over here at Lumna Acres and we love reading them all and all the comments at the bottom of the YouTube channel. And there's one thing that I just keep getting. You guys want more. You wanna know how to do more. You wanna dive deeper. So we've been working on a website. It's up and it's running. It's not completely finished yet, but we have a whole bunch of blog posts over there and we plan on putting a recipe page and just diving deeper and explaining more to the modern steaders of what we're doing here at Lumna Acres. If we dove as deep as we're going to in the blog posts, in the vlogs, these videos, they would just never end. And I don't think YouTube would like that. So we're gonna be having the website. You can go over there and just dive deeper, ask us questions. We'll be sharing more and more with you. We haven't had a chance to work on the t-shirts too much because we've been working on getting the website up and running. Me and Gina have been doing that and we've never done anything like that before. So that was kind of a big learning experience for us. Let's check on the garden that we're growing where the pigs were last year. This is our squash garden. Oh my goodness, we were just in here picking zucchinis yesterday and it looks like we missed another monster. I won't complain about that. We're gonna freeze these up and we're gonna have them all winter long. We have a blog post on what we do with all of our abundant zucchini and how we can save them so we can make zucchini breads all throughout the winter. If you'd like to learn more about that, go check it out. We have it on lumnaacres.com. Let's go check on our purple hay bale garden. Right here we're growing some purple cabbage. They're looking nice. More purple cabbage and purple broccoli. Here are our meat birds that we bought. This is the frying pan special. A whole big assortment of different breeds. They're doing amazing. They're not for you to eat, Pluto. So we have 25 of our meat birds and three khaki Campbell ducklings in this chicken tractor. Over here, we have 25 more. We might not have had a great season for growing vegetables, but we've had an awesome season for growing pasture-raised, organic-fed meat birds. We have 50 right now, plus three ducklings that we're growing out for meat. We've already harvested and processed 50 other meat birds. They're either in our freezer or in our stomachs. We've been eating them all summer, and they've tasted amazing. Now we gotta work on growing up our last batch. The best part about getting the frying pan special is we have four or five different heritage breed meat birds in here. We're gonna be able to find out which ones taste the best and which ones have the most meat on them. Next year we're gonna know which heritage chicken breed we're gonna wanna raise for meat.
They're just loving on all their fresh grass. Now we need to go collect the eggs in New York City. Shut that fence off. I know you'd like to see me get electrocuted, but I don't want to be electrocuted. It hurts. It's gonna give them a little bit of feed. Let's go on the backside of New York City and go collect some eggs. Look at all those beautiful pasture-raised eggs from New York City. That's a nice warm egg. I wanted to show you around to show you how good these girls are working in this area. This is an old apple orchard that was overgrown. Last year we raised our pasture raised pigs out in this area and this year we've been letting the chickens flatten it all back out, eating all the weeds, the tall grass, and they're just doing an awesome job. We've got a fallen down apple tree. We'll have to cut that up for either smoking or firewood. This is an old growth heirloom New England apple orchard that we need to restore and we're having our animals help us do it. Not only are they cleaning it up for us, but they're fertilizing it as they go and they're getting rid of all the bugs for us. If you'd like to know more about our off-grid outdoor kitchen, our plans for it, and what our off-grid outdoor kitchen means to us here at Lumna Acres, leave it down in the comments down below. And we hope you enjoyed today's Modern Steader update. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. <music>